everyone, it's Lucy Fink. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to click on the little subscribe button down below and also find the little bell that's in the description box and click on it so that you're notified every time a new video goes live. Okay, first things first, if you are here because you are really in the mood to watch one of those why I left, insert digital media company name here videos that's filled with gossip and drama and juicy information video for you. This story is not dramatic at all. There were no fights or hard feelings had. I am still actually creating content for Refinery29, I am just no longer a full-time employee. I've noticed that every single time I've posted on Instagram and mentioned in the caption that I'm no longer full-time at Refinery29, that people are constantly commenting, asking, when did you leave R29? So I figured instead of responding to everyone and continually saying the same thing, I can just make this one video where I can send everyone to who's curious about why I left my full-time role and what I'm up to now. This video is sponsored by Care Of, which is a wellness brand that makes amazing vitamins and supplements supplements and protein powders. They are exactly the type of brand that I personally align with, so I'm really excited to be working with them and sharing them with you. So stay tuned because a little bit later in the video, I'm gonna share with you their chocolate vegan plant protein and also give you a discount code. So let me rewind back to 2015, which is when I first got my full-time job at Refinery29. I joined their video team in September 2015 as a full-time employee. My job title was associate producer and on-camera talent. I was a standard full-time employee so salary, benefits, working full-time, going to the office every day, that was my job. Pretty much immediately, I started creating YouTube content for them. So you're probably most familiar with my five-day challenge series, Try Living with Lucy, and you also might know Lucy for Hire, the series where I try different people's jobs. And essentially, my full-time job was going into their office every single day from about 9 a.m. until sometimes 7 or 8 p.m., creating YouTube content for their channel. And also, being a full-time employee meant that I was responsible for other types of of videos like Snapchat videos or Facebook Live. For a brief period of time, we had a You Now account and I was doing You Now Live videos. Basically, I was a standard full-time employee going to a job and doing my job. Alongside all of that, as I was creating content for them regularly, my personal channels started to grow on their own. So my Instagram account was just growing and growing from all the new content I was creating off-platform. And then my own YouTube channel was growing because occasionally on the weekends, I would shoot my own YouTube content outside of our Pretty soon, I realized that my personal platforms were building and growing to a point where, aside from the salary I was making at Refinery29, I was able to do side projects like Instagram partnerships, sponsorships, events, and so much more. I never wanted to leave Refinery29 and just stop making content for them, but it was becoming increasingly tempting to devote more and more time to creating content for myself and my own platforms. And here are a couple of reasons why it's a little bit more enticing for a creator to produce content for their own platform platform versus another platform. Number one, ad revenue. Any single piece of content that you produce or host for any other platform, if it lives on their YouTube channel, then that channel is collecting all of the back end ad revenue for it. So before you went to watch this video, you probably saw a little ad pop up. Maybe you skipped it, maybe you didn't, but either way, that is contributing to me being able to monetize off of YouTube as a platform. And when all the content I'm creating is living on another platform, I'm not seeing any of that ad revenue. I actually think though that the YouTube ad revenue revenue is the least important factor here. What's more important to me as a creator is actually having ownership over the subscribers on my channel and being able to own my own content. So what I mean by this is it's great to work for a channel where you're helping them build and grow. And actually in my time at Refinery29, along with all the other people who I was working with, we were able to build the channel to over 2 million subscribers. But those subscribers don't belong to me, Lucy. They belong to Refinery29, the company. And don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful that those subscribers are there because I continue to produce content for R29's channels, but those subscribers are not Lucy Fink subscribers and that doesn't really do much for my personal business. And same thing with the content ownership. It is really great to be able to produce content that you personally own and can do whatever you want with. So those were all reasons that contributed to me really wanting to devote more time and attention to my own personal brand. But at the same time, I didn't want to leave Refinery29. I love the series that I was producing. I have so many friends that still work there. The company has been nothing but great to me and I have an amazing relationship with all of the executives. And on top of all of that, my audience out there is still really interested in both series and I get constant questions about when the next episode is coming out. So I didn't wanna stop creating content for them altogether. So now if we fast forward to the end of 2018, I saw that 2019 was rapidly approaching and I made the decision that starting January of 2019, I no longer wanted to be full-time at Refinery29. So I'm not an employee with salary and benefits and I don't go 
go into the office every day, I came to the conclusion that if I wanted to start investing more time into building up the Lucy Fink brand, I was no longer gonna have time to be a full-time employee at Refinery. But I wanted to be able to work on my own with a talent manager at an agency, create my own content, build my own brand, and at the same time, create content for Refinery29 on the side, almost like a contractor or a part-time employee. It just wasn't gonna work for me to have to create weekly videos for this other platform while I was trying to create weekly videos for my own platform and doing all of my side projects through Instagram. I just didn't have enough hours in the day. So the conclusion I came to was, how about I officially leave, I start building up the Lucy Fink brand, but on the side of that, I'll create a new contract with Refinery29 so that I can still create content for them, just not full-time. Instead, I have a specific number of videos that I'm creating for them in the year and whenever those videos are in motion. I'm sometimes in the office and I'm sometimes on the phone with Refinery employees, but I'm mostly handling it on my own time, on my own schedule. So in terms of the Lucy Fink brand, you might be asking, what do you wanna do with this brand? Well, I wanna do a lot of things. I want to host TV shows. I wanna host a lot of digital video content. I would love to do speaking engagements, sell merchandise, go on tour, write a book. I have a million ideas swirling through my head and I think that my career is basically going to be an explosion of a lot of different types of things. But that's exactly what I'm working with my talent agent and my talent manager on. And basically I'm just hoping to turn Lucy Fink into a full lifestyle media brand. So when I say I'm starting my own brand, I do technically mean that I started a company. And just to give you some background on that, because I did post on Instagram saying I started my own company and then everyone was asking me where the store was and where they could buy stuff. And I just wanna explain to you what I mean by I started a company. I don't have a shop in New York City. There's not a place that you can actually go to see this company in action. It was mostly a back end thing that I became a corporation instead of being an individual sole proprietor. So now I'm technically a business in New York State and there was actually a lot of back end stuff that went into becoming a business that nobody told me about. Things like I now, Lucy Fink as the individual, have to become an employee of Lucy Fink Media. So I'm now on payroll for my own company. That's another thing I had to set up a payroll system to begin with. I had to get unemployment insurance. There is a lot of different aspects to building and actually creating and setting up a legitimate business that I had never thought of before. So this was my first year as a business. This year when I go to my accountant to do my taxes, I'm going to be taxed as a business. So it is very exciting, but it has been a slow and steady process. So for people out there who loved Lucy for Hire and Try Living with Lucy, I still created a lot of that content in 2019 and I have more episodes coming out before the year is up. And then in terms of my own Instagram account and YouTube channel, I'm still doing what I was doing last year, which is just creating content every day and every week, but I'm doing it more full time and on a bigger scale. And because of my talent agency and my manager, I'm able to get some better partnerships and longer lasting brand deals. And my YouTube channel in particular has grown really quickly. So I believe in January, 2019, I only had about 60 or 70,000 subscribers. And today we are almost at 150. And in terms of the brands that I work with all the time, I actually made an entire YouTube video all about how brand deals and sponsorships work for influencers. So if you're interested in that, up here somewhere there should be a little tab for you to click to watch it. But just to give you a clear example of a brand integration or a sponsorship in a video, I can now tell you about Care Of because they sponsored this video right here. So first and foremost, I only partner with brands that I actually use and really like. And not only that, but whose company values align with my personal values because otherwise I find it's just entirely inauthentic and your YouTube audience can spot that from a mile away. I love that Care Of is all about helping people develop healthy habits and if you've watched any of my content, you know that that's really what I talk about every single day. And especially this time of year when it's winter time and it's starting to get colder out there, it's really important for me to be taking care of my health. So here's how it works. When you go to their website, you're directed to a short and easy quiz to see what supplements they recommend for you specifically. And then the products are shipped to you monthly and they are personalized. One thing I wanted to do was build muscle because I had a personal goal to feel stronger in 2019. And I love chocolate, so I got their vegan chocolate plant protein, which is so delicious. You just put a couple scoops and a cup of water, but you can also mix it with a milk or put it into a smoothie. I usually put it in a mason jar and then I screw the cap on, shake it up, and it tastes like I'm drinking a straight up chocolate milkshake. I'm obsessed with the ingredients. It's things like organic cocoa powder and Himalayan sea salt. Everything about it is so delicious and to top it all off, the 
tub came with my name printed on the label. They're really conscious about the environment and sustainability, and so a lot of their products come in compostable packs, and then they have a whole section on their website about how to compost properly. The link below in my description box will take you to the quiz, so go and take it, see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. And for 25% off your first order, use my promo code Lucy. So as you probably know already from watching YouTubers, sponsorships and partnerships like this are really how we sustain ourselves and do this as a living. And it's a great way to make it so that we can provide this content to our audience for free. So I'm really grateful to be able to make a living while partnering with brands I love and also offering you discount codes along the way to save your money. So I'm hoping that this video ultimately cleared up all of your questions about when I left Refinery29, why I left Refinery29, if I'm still working with Refinery29, and what I'm doing on my own for my personal brand. If you have any more questions or are unclear about anything else, just comment below, let me know, and I'll try to respond. And I also wanna let you know how much your support means to me and tell you thank you so much for watching my content. Even just clicking into this video is helpful and meaningful for me. And I want you to know that I love each and every one of you. I read your comments and I feel so connected to you, even if it's just online. Every single subscriber on YouTube, every like on Instagram, every view on an Instagram story, and every person who joins my mailing list is helpful for my business growth. By the way, if you want to join that mailing list, I send out a lot of freebies and fun behind the scenes content that I don't share elsewhere. So I'm putting the link in my description box too for how you can join up for the Think Fam mailing list. But I just hope you know that my goal with all of this content that I'm creating is to be entertaining, to be educational, to be informative, to be a positive role model. I know there's a lot of crap on the internet and a lot of people who are making content that's just not adding anything good to the world. And every single time I sit down to record a video, I'm asking myself, how is this going to help someone out there? How can somebody find something positive about this and make a positive change? I'm hoping everything I share with you is inspiring and informative, and I just love you, really. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Comment below and let me know what else you wanna see here. I have a lot of fun videos coming up for you, and I'll see you next time.